We all want to have public schools that continually work to improve themselves and the achievements of their students. There's a lot of interest now in making educators more accountable. One of the most popular ideas is to use the test scores of students to determine the quality of educators in helping students improve over time. This approach is being adopted all over the country. This seems like a great common sense idea, but is it? Most often the approach being considered is value-added modeling, or VAM. A similar approach is called student growth modeling. I'll use the term VAM here as it is more common. VAM is a complicated statistical procedure that's being promoted as the way to measure educator quality. VAM takes student test scores from standardized student achievement tests and uses statistical manipulations to make a determination whether or not an educator has promoted growth in student test scores over time. Since only about half of teachers actually have students participating in the tests, these approaches often include ways to attribute scores from teachers whose students are tested to educators whose students aren't tested, even if those teachers never had the students in their own classrooms. VAM and similar approaches can be used to make high-stakes decisions to hire or fire educators or to give them pay raises or bonuses. And in the future, they may be used to determine whether schools themselves are effective. We can expect that courts will get involved in reviewing these systems. See my recent online free article discussing these issues.